Yep, yeah, so today's job, or this lunchtime's job, is to fit these, the DeLorean Go um, lower control arm um, braces. These are really nice, they're made out of really, really thick stainless steel, as it should be, of course. New bolts, um, bushes, washers, locking nuts, etc. And obviously, obviously, these two bolts here replace the two on there, which are there. And this one here is going through the shock absorber. So obviously I've put a spack suspension on this car, so I've gone, so I know that those are obviously loose. And then I've also double checked the top ones, and they're loose as well. And actually I remember because I took the bolts out when I did the car in order to sort of grease, you know, lubricate and check as well, um, the bushings on the inside. So yeah, it shouldn't be too, too much drama. So I've loosened it off last night, a, bit, a little bit of preparation. My plan for these is I'm hoping to effectively um, take the nut off, off here and then take the nut off this one and then put it into position and then basically knock this bolt through to knock the old bolt out and that way I don't lose any of the, any of the washers um, I think there's some washers and bits and bobs in space and bits and pieces in there so I can sort of knock it out from this side and then obviously the bolt will go straight in and everything should be spot on and obviously this one here I'll knock it out um, from this side here. So yeah, I'm going for that now. Left side should be should be quite easy. These look quality, add loads of extra strength. So yeah, let's get those babies in. Cool, nice one. Yep, so that technique seems to have worked. So on this one here, I knocked the um, the bolt through, the new bolt through from, this is obviously the old one, from this side with all the washers on. And then that obviously knocked out this one here, this side. And it's come out that end there. It's just behind that. And then this one here on mine, the um, I knocked the bolt out from this side. And that's gone through again nicely, put the grease on it, etc. I had to use this jack here. So once I knock the bolt out a little bit, then of course the LCA um, lower control arm drops slightly. So I jacked up there just that on this one here just to get the bolt hole lined up so I can knock it through. And then that's now on through on there. So what I'll do now is I'll now be able to knock this back a little bit, put that um, arm on with the washers, and then get this one here on as well. So but I'll, I'll go for it now, but this that took literally like 10 minutes to do that so far. Cool, let's go for it. Yep, well, so the left-hand side is done. So I've got the bolts um, heads coming through this way. I don't think it makes any difference if it's if they're this way or not this way. But that's the way I, I've got them, so I knocked the old ones through. Um, that's all good on there. Point to note, there's no instructions with this, so just be aware that the more angled piece goes on this, on the, uh, the pointing towards the back of the car, and this is the less angled piece here on the front, so just this way here. So don't go fitting it and putting this piece here onto the front, so it won't fit. Um, wasn't too bad to get, get on. Um, managed to get like three of the parts on fine. The fourth one was a little bit more, little bit more difficult. But all I had to do is just get a small jack like this underneath the disc, just jack it up a little bit to wiggle it around a little bit, and then it, and then it went on. Also used grease and stuff on the bolts, but the washers all in place. So really, it's pretty pretty easy. Um, yep, so happy with that. That's cool. That's it there. Um, obviously this one here, this is where it should go, this angle here. Obviously this one here goes on the, on the other side of the car. And you'll notice that basically the curved part here, um, as this one here is the is the passenger one, the curved part also goes downwards. So just in case it could be fit the other way around, the curved part goes like this. That's kind of how it fits in this little notch here. So it's flat on the top, curved here and curved there. So that's how that one now go on the other side like that. That's cool. Um, and then you need to tighten up, and in the manual, the um, LCA bolts, and also the lower shock bolts, because well, that's, that's a lower shock bolt there. They're all um, 60, 60 pounds per square inch. So it's this one here. Yeah, so 60 foot pounds, or 80 Newton NM, whatever it is. That's cool. So now I'm going to put the wheel back on again and then crack on the other side. So that took about an um, hour and a half altogether. So it wasn't, wasn't too bad. Just really getting that last bolt on was a little bit, little bit difficult, but it's all good. Cool. 
Yeah, well, so that's all done. So this um took like this side here took like one hour, much much easier. Once you've done the first side, it's, this side here was um, very very easy. Also get the, the correct orientation I mentioned earlier with the little notch there, pointing downwards. Make sure you get the right the right way around, the right side, you know, left and right. But yeah, that went through really easy. And then torqued up to sixty sixty pounds per square inch. So yeah, went in nice and easy. There you go. Cool, nice one. Nice, nice job. Now, now we'd sort of drive it and see how it feels. Cool, cheers.